new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you so this is where we are twitter banned president donald trump's account friday citing quote the risk of further incitement of violence following the deadly insurrection at the u.s capitol on wednesday twitter has long given trump and other world leaders broad exemptions from its rules against personal attacks hate speech and other behavior but in a detailed explanation post on its blog friday the company said that recently trump's tweets amounted to glorification of violence when read in the context of the capitol riot and plans circulating online for future armed protests around the inauguration of president-elect joe biden the social media platform has been undergoing pressure to take further action against trump following wednesday's violence on Thursday, Facebook suspended Trump's account through January 20th and possibly indefinitely. Twitter merely suspended Trump's account for 12 hours after he posted a video that repeated false claims about election fraud and praised the rioters who stormed the Capitol. Trump's Twitter persona has long functioned as a mix of policy announcements, often out of the blue, complaints about the media, disparaging remarks about women, minorities, and perceived enemies, and his praise for his supporters. He has fired numerous officials on Twitter, and his posts, like his speeches at rallies, are a torrent of misinformation. The White House did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The official account of President Trump at POTUS remains live. In fact, Trump, who issued a statement Friday evening that denounced Twitter as the enemy of free speech and floated the idea that he might build his own platform, also posted it on at POTUS account where it was quickly deleted. Twitter saying using another account to evade a suspension is against its rules and that while it won't ban government accounts like at POTUS or at White House, it will quote, take action to limit their use. Shannon McGregor, an assistant professor of journalism and media at the University of North Carolina said the move lets Twitter try to curry favor with the incoming Biden administration. Trump, quote, only has two weeks left in power, and that certainly makes it easier to de-platform the president. Others saw more ominous portents in Twitter's actions. Quote, big tech is not going to stop with the president of the United States. Twitter can ban you next and everyone who can read this. In Trump's tweet cited by Twitter, Trump stated that he will not be attending the inauguration and referred to his supporters as American patriots, saying that they will have a, quote, giant voice long into the future. Twitter said that these statements, quote, are likely to inspire others to replicate the violent acts that took place on January 6th of 2021, and that there are multiple indicators that they are being received and understood as encouragement to do so. Twitter has also stated that its policies enable world leaders to speak to the public, but that the accounts are not above our rules entirely and can't use Twitter to incite violence. Trump had roughly 89 million followers. Twitter shares roughly fell 4% in the after hours of trading, reflecting concerns that the Trump ban might reduce usage and advertising sales. Jonathan Greenblatt who heads the Anti-Defamation League, said Friday that banning Trump was, quote, an excellent step and a fitting end to a legacy of spewing hate and vitriol. The ADL was part of the Coalition of Civil Rights and Advocacy Groups on Friday calling for Twitter to ban Trump's account. Twitter, long accused of threatening the president with kick gloves, began policing Trump more aggressively starting in the early days of the general presidential campaign, when the company began aggressively labeling his false tweets about supposedly widespread election fraud as disputed. An actual permanent suspension had been all but unimaginable, at least until he lost his bid for re-election. 
in May after Trump tweeted the phrase, quote, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. In response to the protest in Minneapolis, Twitter added a warning label to the post for the first time. And from then on, tensions between Trump and Twitter only escalated from there. Banning Trump entirely was a big step for the company, if one that it avoided taking until the president was a lame duck and his larger rival, Facebook, already banned him indefinitely. Well, this is how I look at it. Now, I'm, I'm going to miss because I would sit up there and, and go to the uh, Trump account and I would sit up there and just read some of the stuff that he would post. I've actually put quite a few of those tweets up there whenever I had to do and cover stories dealing with the president, right? And uh, for me, some of them were quite laughable. I, I will have to say that at this moment in time in history, that has to be the most hilarious Twitter account I've ever seen from any president in my entire life, right? And I will miss that little bit of comedy that would appear almost what seems to be every five seconds or every two or three or five minutes or 10 minutes. Like you would consistently uh, tweet every single day. I think there was barely a day that, you know, he tweeted, right? But this also shows people that if you have a certain amount of power and you're able to wield that power and move people, you have to be very careful because of the position that you're in that you don't mislead or that as Twitter stated, you don't incite violence in a riot because all of his wording, if people were to take hold of everything he said that he stated, sorry, during the, the his four year stint, right? All of that culminated into the things that you were able to see, right? The first trial period, if people don't remember, was when you had a group of true Americans go up to the Michigan Capitol and they were looking for the governor, right? And they stated that they had a variety of plans for her and maybe her family, right? So they tested that out. Uh, they tested the waters by going into uh, a lot of these government areas in a variety of states and occupying them, right? coming through with their armed vehicles coming through with bulletproof vests and all of these weapons right the police the fbi nobody did anything so the next step because they knew that they weren't really going to get a response they went directly to the capitol and lo and behold they get they really didn't get a response the same exact thing that they've been trying and doing for a year they showed you what they were going to do they talked about it on social media openly, made viral videos from things on TikTok, on IG, on Twitter, on YouTube, on daily video. No matter where you go, you will have a uh, quite a few of those same right individuals, those Trump supporters, right? Making videos stating to you openly what their plan is and what they're going to do. And nobody did nothing. They waited up until the last minute to try and act and we all know at the last minute it's too late everything is already said and done everything is in motion so even after you decide that you want to close trump's twitter account you know what's going to happen people are still going to go back to the previous videos that are out there they're going to go back to the previous tweets or they're going to follow or pay very close attention to what it is that trump is saying on national tv because there's always a way if he wants to, if he really wanted to, he has money. You can't stop him from making his own platform like he stated. You can't stop him from doing any of that. He can do it if he wanted to. You can't stop him. So then what you're going to do? Nothing. There's nothing you can do. So like I said, um, in the long run, they should have just allowed him to keep going for like the two weeks. They should have just let it happen. And then after that, he's out of there. Because now you've made it way more dangerous because you've now emboldened a lot of these people who follow him. If he has 89 million people who follow him, a lot of those millions of people are now going to be emboldened to like, oh, so because, you know, like he said, big tech is the enemy. And now this proves that big tech is the enemy. They're trying to silence the people and the voice of the people right that's how they're going to look at this they're not going to look at it as just an attack on him they're going to look at it as if you're attacking him you're attacking them also 
So now you've just created even more monsters than there were. You've now just done more harm than good. Like I said, people don't really understand the effects that this will have. And like I said, because of the things that he has done and how um, Twitter and Facebook have acted, now they can, in a sense, use that as an excuse to go after, in a sense, everybody else. Like I said, this has a much more broader effect than what anybody can even fathom within the scope that they are viewing. I can see it because I'm on social media all day long and I can see the collapse that is taking place. I can see the monitoring that is taking place, right? I can see the silencing and the censoring and the different things in that nature that are taking place, right? So like I said before, People were not going to understand and start to see a lot of these things up until it starts to happen to them. So now this is where we are. Twitter has permanently banned Donald Trump from the platform. And underneath that, you have a lot of people saying goodbye, Twitter and hashtag we are Trump. So as I stated to you guys before, this has now created even more monsters and it has emboldened a lot of more people and a lot of those individuals are now going to start to turn to other platforms because they know exactly what time it is right they know that if at any point in time that they uh repeat or put anything out there you know potentially about the president or reciting a lot of the things that he has stated their chances are that they're going to get silenced that they're going to get censored that their twitter accounts are going to get banned so now they're going to be feverishly right searching for other platforms that are going to allow them to freely express what it is that they are going to say and i promise you anything that they were saying on twitter is now going to be 10 times 50 times or 100 times worse on all of those other platforms like you think that you saw some stuff on uh uh oh the, the, the previous day when they were you know going to the capitol you ain't seen nothing yet it might take a little bit of time for them to start gathering and trying to figure out what it is that they're going to do because now instead of them being public about it now they're going to be going into secrecy now they're going to be making secret twitter accounts now they're going to be making secret facebook accounts now they're going to be making secret ig accounts and different things of that nature that are private and only you know a select few people that are vetted are going to be allowed into and then those other people are going to be vetted like i said this is how it starts so like i said before people don't understand uh the power that they will so hopefully Twitter and Facebook understands what it is that they are doing at this moment in time. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about uh, this video and everything that I listed in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love and stay tuned for the next video.